many of you here think that actual science degree is difficult to study? <laughs> wow. I can't <laughs> see your so Why? Let's take a look at how difficult is actual science degree. <laughs> <laughs> We have six subjects to take for a long semester, and we are required to accumulate at least 123 hours, 20 hours in order to graduate from Utah. And during these three years of studies, we have to take for at least 57 test papers and at least 35 final examinations. And all these are only cover your internal exams. You have to sit for SOA papers if you want to be qualified as an actuary. And it's a very long path to walk. Yeah. However, there are many things that we can do to rejoice and enjoy ourselves during the degree years. <laughs> so these are my outlines. Build your interest and attention in maths, effective study method, help others with the knowledge that we have learned. To begin with, we must build our interest and attention in maths. As we know, there are many subjects that offer in actuarial science unrelated to max. So, we must embrace ourselves as a max student. According to Carl Friedrich Gauss, a mathematician in 1856, he says this, Mathematics is the queen of sciences. Sorry, but I just have to ask, then who is the king of sciences? <laughs> <laughs> we don't bother who is the king of sciences, but the queen is Queen is stronger when you're playing chess, right? Oh! oh. <laughs> so that means we always apply math in our daily life. And math is so fun because when we are solving tutorial questions, we can understand the unit of mathematics. It helps us develop our problem solving skills and higher order thinking skills. Not only that, According to Bertrand Russell, a logician, he says this, Mathematics, rightly built, possesses not only true, but supreme beauty. So what does it mean? What is, how beautiful is Max? Let's think about that. What can you see here? What can you see here? On the left hand side of the equation, you can see there's a fixed number multiplied with a sequence of multiples of 9. And it will end up with a right hand side of the equation with blah 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 two 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 and so on. Wow. <laughs> Next, what is this? What can you see from here? It is like a mountain, right? In the left hand side. But this mountain is only occupied with the number one. And when you multiply one times one, eleven by eleven and so on, you will end up another mountain here. But this mountain not only has number one. Yes, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, and so on. <laughs> one, wow, one. Max is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. So, patience is very important because it gives us strength for us to move on in our study, no matter how difficult is our course. Just like what Nick Nisit say in his life without limit books, adopting an attitude of action creates positive momentum. So, patience is very important, right? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Next! Maybe some of you here has been depressed because of your test papers and CGPA is very low. So you can apply effective study method in your studies by following GTS group. Mm -hmm. G stands for group discussion, T stands for time management, and S stands for suitable learning style. Let's take a look at the first group discussion. We can form a group discussion with our peers and there are many benefits that we can learn during group discussion. Such as, we can verify some of the questions that we cannot solve in tutorials. Not only that, we can also check whether we have missed out any important notes during the lecture class. Not only that, <laughs> study groups are very effective <laughs> because you can use it to make your own lecture notes. According to Keith Sawyer, a psychologist in University of Washington, they came up with a conclusion that study groups are so effective because they provide a way for students to make lecture notes their own. Why? Because during before final exams, you can like, you can look through to the lecture notes that you made without flipping through the heavy textbooks or all the lecture notes from the waiver. Right? <coughs> 
function. Okay, today I'm going to teach you a new vocabulary. Oh. Procrastination is the action of delaying something or postponing your plan. So, we always screw up our study time and socializing time because of procrastination. So, time management is very important. Now, I'm going to teach you a method of time management called time management matrix. This time management matrix is created by Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Using this time management matrix, you can separate your plan into urgency and importance. You must put your priority in the first quadrant because it is very important and urgent. And you can ignore your top plan because it is neither important nor urgent. Mm. Let's take a very simple example for myself. After I go back home from my school, I want to take shower, eat, play computer games, and win revisions. So which one should I put in my priority? Playing computer <laughs> games. <laughs> so, so for me, I will put it in the first quadrant because, because it is very important and very urgent. <laughs> I am very hungry. <laughs> I will put either studies, uh, doing revision, or shower in second or fourth quadrant. And I will only play my computer games only if I have free time. Well, yeah. I don't believe you. Uh. <laughs> Next, suitable learning style. There are many suitable learning styles that you can learn, such as visual, oral, verbal, physical, logical, social, and solitary. For those who prefer to study using visual, they learn using pictures or image. For those who learn using oral, they prefer to listen to music, listening to songs. And those who like verbal, they prefer to write or speak to understand the concept better. For those who prefer physical, they like the sense of touch or practical. Logical, logical is very suitable for max students. So I encourage those who haven't find their own learning style, they can refer to logical learning style. Because using logical learning style, you can understand the reasoning behind the max concept and you can always improve it by doing more practices. Social learning style is for those who like to study in a form of group. So they can discuss their lecture notes or tutorial questions together. And for those who like solitary learning style, they prefer to work alone or study alone. Understand? No. no. <laughs> you must help others with the knowledge that we have learned. Just like what the G6 says again, sometimes the best method you will find for moving your life out of a rut, over an obstacle, is to make life better for yourself or for others. So, there are many subjects offered in actuarial science that help us to help others or ourselves. For example, theory of interest <laughs> and financial economics one and two. In theory of interest, we learn how the interest calculated in a bank and how a UB and sinking fund work in the financial world. For financial economics one and two, we learn about the state price and the expectation of the cash flow. So we can use it to determine which bank should we uh, should we borrow the loan so that it charge on this interest. We can use it to teach our neighbors, relatives, and also it also helps in our financial management. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not bad. So, in conclusion, actual science is not an easy course. Or we can choose to rejoice and enjoy ourselves in the course as, and reach out for a better university life. Just like the proverb saying, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Mm. Thank you. Oh.